You have to do shows when you have something to say. The excitement in menswear now, it's been, un and not, it hasn't been this great since the 1960s and 70s. The young guy is getting dressed, he wants to wear clothes, not because he has to, he wants to. Well, every piece on the runway is made in America today. Every piece? Every piece, which is fantastic. Our bags, our coats, our suits, footwear. our hats, footwear. Alan Edmonds and I worked together on a collaboration. It was wonderful. But there's a distinction. It's not just waving the flag about being made in America, it's being made well in America. And we're as good as the rest of the world. We have a factory in Massachusetts. We have 800 artisans. So we're so proud of that. It's a wonderful experience to have those 800 people working on global collections. So you could say we can make quality apparel in America. That's right. And we can stand up to the, to the global design community and say, look what we can do in America. And I hope this show represents that. Does it also mean jobs in America? Of course, it always means jobs. And we're so proud to be one of the largest employers in southeastern Massachusetts. And that factory, those people are so proud of what's going on today because they say, I made that lapel, I made that shoulder. But there's a competitive advantage. We can get to market quicker, we can make small runs. And I'm interactive with the factory on a daily basis. The mood is sort of this rugged dandyism. We took, we've taken all of these really handsome guys and put them in clothes that have some mystery, some romance. But we didn't play the boys game, we played the man's game. We wanted these guys to be rugged and beautiful and mysterious. So that's always what I've wanted the collection to be about the guys. That this millennial market wants to get dressed. And they're hungry for information about Savile Row and custom tailoring. And we're here to give it to them. Any colors that you can talk about? Well, the colors of the collection are just the boot colors. We start with, and I always say it's man color. And we never do pretty colors, we do strong colors. So you're going to see a very interesting cool to warm, and then we'll close with black and white for evening. The stress happened when I was designing and making the collection. Now it's the quiet before the storm. We've done great clothes, we've got great models, and it's up to the audience now.